When am I gonna drive my truck? Uh, I mean, you can come for a ride right now. <laughs> Man, I love that. So I had a superb question over the weekend on one of my videos, uh, which I mentioned on Sunday, and I'll get to that right now. A uh, question that I got from a, um, a viewer recently, and he asked, uh, is there a limit to the amount of amps in a subpanel um, because I want to put another circuit breaker in. So there is a maximum limit to the amperage uh, that your panel can hold and it's based on a, the main breaker coming from the main panel or from the service. However, even though there is a limit to the amperage on your panel, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, if you have space for breakers, go ahead and use them. The answer is yes, there is a limit, uh, but I wouldn't worry about it. The limit um, on the panel is actually rated by the main breaker that feeds the subpanel or the service coming in uh, from the utility. So uh, it's not really something you need to worry about. If you have a, if you have space for a breaker, I would say go ahead and put the breaker in there. I mean, it's made for that. Um, you know, obviously, if you don't have space, then your the limit of the panel as far as amperage is probably, uh, you know, not maxed, but it's probably reaching its limit. But if you do have uh, concerns, uh, you can have an engineer look at it, or a good electrician can do a load calculation on your panel for you to see if it'll work. to see how much load is being used in the panel to see if you can in fact add another circuit. Generally, that's not necessary. Uh, there is an indicator. Uh, that would uh, exclude us from doing this. Uh. The one exception I would say is if you're uh, having problems in your electrical panel right now, like if it's tripping the main or you're tripping breakers a lot, I would have it looked at. And especially if the main is tripping a lot, then the panel is nearly maxed out, if not already maxed out, and there really isn't any room for another circuit to be added. When you're adding a circuit, you're adding a little bit more use and a little bit more load to the main. Uh, but um, in either case, um, it's this type of thing is not a concern for like damage or the, the panel melting or overloading or overheating or anything, something like that. That's not really the case. You're really not going to overload the panel no matter what you do. Even if you did overload the panel, uh, the main breaker is just going to trip. That's it. Whether you're doing the work yourself or if someone else is doing it, I'd be more concerned with uh, the quality of work than overloading the panel so that the work is done properly, uh, so that whoever does the work it does it safely and um, doesn't do something you know kind of goofy or whatever. So um, like I say, there is a maximum load on panels and sub panels. Uh, the maximum load probably doesn't affect you if you have space for breakers still in the panel that you're going to add you know for another circuit or what have you. So uh, pretty straightforward. Um, Anyway, that's today's tip of the day. Hope that helps. Uh, be safe. Now we're just talking about adding a single circuit. If you're doing an addition, you're adding on a room or a second floor or remodeling your entire garage, that's a different story. Hey Matt. What's up man? Hey, uh, do you follow Massive Electric on YouTube or Instagram or Snapchat? I do. Why? Um, I like the tips. Not just the electrical tips, but the life tips. I'm not an electrician, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I have a place so I can learn little tips from you and just life tips as well.